What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Unity. Today we're going to continue with more Paris Storm missions. Uh, we're going to be doing the Sad's Reprave. Uh, we haven't been in this part of Paris in such a while, so it's kind of nice being here, right? But uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's uh, let's get right into it. You know what? Before I do get started, I'm going to recommend you guys to go check out uh, my previous episode. Uh, which, uh, yeah, basically Arno recruited uh, Ladies of the Night. If you, uh, and uh, he strapped them up, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's see what we have here. Save the Marquez decide from the guillotine by seeing the judicial orders for his. All right, so our guy is uh, he's heading to the guillotine. All right, let's uh, let's get these orders real quick. Oh Jesus, that's kind of far. Oh, by the way, we're also using a new weapon that we unlocked in one of the murder mysteries, called the Flemberg. Looks pretty cool. It's basically like a giant broadsword as well. So there's that. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. There we go. Hey, what was that? Oh wow, there's gonna be a quite a few guards over here. Oh shit. Hey, wait a minute. That was honestly a lucky break right there. Uh, so this uh, mission is definitely going to revolve around uh, stealth. So I like that. Wait, I can't tell if that guy is uh, behind a wall or if he's... Okay, he's right there. Okay. Gotta find a staircase. No, wait, this isn't the temple. I, rec I recognize this mission. I we've been in this area like five times already. Or missions. We actually did a co-op mission. Um, I think like two episodes ago. If you guys go far enough in the playlist, I did a co-op mission here, and there was also a main story mission here as well. So there's that. All right. So how will I deal with this? All right. So as long as uh, wait, maybe I'll wait a little bit. As long as I say, as long as the guard in the back doesn't move, it'll be all right. Ooh, that's a lot of guards. Okay. Something's not right. All right, how many uh, Phantom Blades do I have left? Uh, I got three. Okay. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Will I say that I'm happy that I wasted those two Phantom Blades? No. But did it get the job done? Uh, yes. Now that there's a way around this area that uh, oh, well. will lead me upstairs. I'm just trying to find it. Memorize where uh, or remember where it was. Is it through here? No, it's not through here. I think it's like down that hall, actually. Like, I don't want to like get all the attention from all the guards all at once. All right, so there seems to be three guards there. That? Well, that guy noticed me. Hey, 
But maybe if I could get this guy, I'll take him out with a Phantom Blade. That's really gonna be my only option at this point, so I could uh, just focus on the last two. I guess I didn't need to use a Phantom Blade. Yeah, that was beautiful. All right, so uh, this is the judicial. Oh, I see them. Okay, they were right below us. It didn't necessarily mean they was up here. Okay, yeah, that was uh, that was my mistake. Wow, it's crazy that we actually walked right past them the entire time. <laughs> Yeah, so they were right here, right where we ran past by. I escaped the area. You know what? I'm gonna go through the window. Fuck it. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> you know the rules. Yeah, I really gotta run away because if they shoot me again, I'm pretty much dead, and I would have to repeat that portion of the mission. Okay, there we go. Alright, so at least we got our boy saved from the guillotine, but, uh, yeah, this mission was alright. I, I always like going back to that place. It was a nice little challenge, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna be in the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and, uh, yeah, I'll definitely see you guys next time. Peace.